Only this is the bed here. Okay. Now this is x square minus a square type. What it will be? Now this will be equal to cos hyperbolic inverse. It will be 1 upon 2, 2. Okay. Cos hyperbolic inverse. This value is 4x plus 3 upon 2, 2 20 plus constant c. But for those who we have already taken common, it will be cos hyperbolic because x square minus a square under this group. What is x square minus a square type question? Then it will be cos hyperbolic inverse x upon a. The x means here. This is 4x plus 3 upon under root c. Root c upon 4, 4 will cancel out. We don't get this is unknown c. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so this is question number Sorry, that third one. Now let me talk about question number fourth. What does question number fourth say? Let's see. <coughs> question number fourth now. Let me discuss about question number fourth. Okay. Question number fourth is now. Sign of integration, this is 1 upon under root, this is 4 plus 3x plus 2 for minus 2x square. It is for minus 2x square. It is minus 2x square dx. Okay. This is minus 2x square. Alright. If I take minus 2 common, with that I take here, it will be. Uh, if equal to sign of integration with one of them. Let me take two common first of all. It will be under root two out. That means one point two will be out. Only two I have taken out of the bracket. It will be two here plus three by two x minus s here the no change. What I've done? I've taken two out of the square root. If I divide this whole by two taking under root 2 out will be 2, 4 by 2 means 2, 3 by 2 and 2 is considered. Now let me convert it further. It will be 1 upon root 2 sign of integration, 1 upon under the square root. Now let me make it perfect here. It is 2, if I take minus and common, for x square we have to make of uh, positive. It will be x square, let me write completely minus 3 upon 2 into x. Okay. What I have to add here again, 3 upon 2 means 3 upon 4 whole square we have to add. We have to add here 9 upon 16 and subtract 9 upon 16. That minus sign and minus sign will be plus sign. 9 upon 16 will be here. Now no change. This is dx. Okay. This is x square. Minus 3 upon 2 will be there because minus sign we have taken common out of these two steps. It is negative positive, it will be x will be positive, but minus 3 upon 2 will be negative. This 3 upon 2 x will be negative. Now we have to add to make it perfect here, we have to add here 3 upon 4 whole square. We have to divide the middle term by 2 and whatever the numerical value is obtained, the square of that will be added in this case, so to make it perfect square. Now this is 1 upon root, let me further resolve it, 1 upon, let me solve it, this is 16 to 32, 32 and 9, 41, root 41 upon 4 whole square, it can be, make it to a perfect square like this, always like under the square root and in the whole square type, so it is a square minus, this is nothing but x minus, 3 upon 4 whole square. Okay, it is x minus 3 upon 4 whole square. This is a square minus x square type. Whenever a square minus x square type is, it is sign universal. x upon a. The answer is 1 upon root 2 into sign inverse. Okay, x upon a means 4x minus 3 upon root 41. Plus constant c. This is the answer here. Since again, sign of integration 1 upon under root a square minus a square 
diye gördük saniyemiz. En çok saniye bizi tam çok. Because of that is we have written like this. This saniyemiz 4x, 4x minus 3 upon 4 upon 40 and root 40 upon 4 for the length of love. Only 4x minus 3 upon root 40. That is the answer. This is question number 4. Now question number 4 is let me talk about question number 3. What kind of that question is? Let us discuss about Question number 5th one is sign of integration. This is 1 upon, all these are irrational functions because radical signs are given. Radical sign under the square root, under the cube like this. Okay, so this is under the cube root, under the nth root, that, that are already discussed. About. All these are irrational functions. Uh, question number 5, which we are discussing about. 1 upon under root. This is 2 plus x minus 3x squared. Okay, dx. Now always make x squared 3 from numerical values. We have to take 3 common out of this term. It will be 1 upon root 3 out. 1 upon under root under this one. 2 by 3 plus 1 upon 3x minus x squared. Okay, this is now clear. So we have to divide this whole inside the inside value by 3 so that we can take 3 common take 3 common divide by 3 okay. now it is to make as uh, it is to be made at perfect scale this is 1 upon root 3 sign of integration 1 upon under the square root is 2 upon 3 I have to add here something the minus sign we will take common it is to be added that I will add Later, but let me write here first this. This is 1.6 whole square. Because this is to be divided by 2. That will be 1.6, 1.6 whole square. That is 1.36 here. We have to subtract and that add. Let me write here. X square minus 1.3x plus 1.36. No change. Yes. What I've done? Divide this middle term by 2. To make it perfect square and then whatever is resultant resultant is 1.6 then the square of that 1.6 is to be added here to make it perfect. so this is what x minus 1.6 whole square x minus 1.6 whole square and that minus 1.36 will also be subtracted because this we have added on our own just to remove this we have to subtract 1.36 also okay so that those two values are then eliminated. But that minus 1.36 will become positive by this minus sign. Minus into minus 1.36, positive 1.36, which is to be added with 2 upon 3. Okay, added in 2 upon 3. This is the resultant after adding 1.36 and subtract. 1.43 sign of integration will be 1 upon that directly over the final answer. This is 36 LCM under the square root. 36 is the LCM here. So 3, 12, 3 is 36. 12 is 24, 24 plus 1, 25. Minus sign is nothing but x minus 1.6. Whole square. Here can be declared 1 upon root 3. This is kind of indication. This is 1 upon 100. This is 25, 24 plus 1, 25. That is 5.6. Whole square. 5.6 whole square. This is 5 upon 6 whole square minus x minus 1.6 whole square. Now this is a perfect square type. Similar value a square minus x square. Remember a square minus x square over minus x square is sign inverse x upon a. The answer will be this is not a very good This is 5 upon 6 whole square. Why 6? Because 25.36 can be written as 5.64 square. Same thing. Okay, so this value. Okay, so final answer is the same 1.03. Sine inverse x upon a. That means 6x minus 1 upon 5 only. So 6 is something out. 6x minus 1 upon 6 upon 5.6. X upon a type. This is x. This is a. X upon a. Sine inverse x upon a. On the answer is this. This is the answer. Question number 5. 
We have done that. Let's talk about question number six now. Okay, now question number six, which I have to discuss about. Let me take question number six now. What question number six is? Question number six is in the room. If you know that type, third type of question is common. Yes, this is the 1 plus x minus x square in dx. 1 minus x square. Fit this kind of question here. Now, this will be again make minus x square as perfect I, as a positive. For that, we have to take this. This is 1 plus, I am taking minus and common. It will be minus x squared minus x. Now what we have to add here, so that it can become perfect scale. We have to add here, plus 1 from 2 whole square, that is 1 from 4. And minus 1 from 4, that will add perfect like this. No change into ds. Now it can be seen as what else? 1 plus 1 from 4, minus x. Minus 1.2 full screen dx. Now, again, this is a square minus x square type. What is the answer? This it will be sign of integration. Let me first resolve this is 5, 4 plus 1, 5, 5.4. That means root 5 upon 2 full screen. Minus this is x minus 1.2 full screen. Yes. Now this is a square minus x square type of formula. So the answer will be directly 1.2 sum of integration. X means this value. Twice x minus 1.2 into under root. The same value. The same value will be this. Now this is the whole value. This is the 1 plus x minus x square. Okay. Or just 1.2. We will remove it. 1.2 will be removed, but this is minus sign a square. a square means 5.4. Sorry, we have 5.4. 5.4 a square log of other right log or in sign inverse x upon this a square will come here. It will be sign log of x that means twice x minus 1 plus under root same value x minus 1. Uh, uh, sorry, 1 plus x, this value will be x, uh, 1, 1 plus x, I'm sorry, this is 1 plus x minus x, okay, this divided by 2, and this divided by 2, is just will be negative, so the new army constant value, that is not at the moment, this is the final value, or let me write again, so this will be 1 from 2, out of this bracket, y is x minus 1 upon 2. Okay, this is the value of x here. 1 minus 1 plus x minus x square. And when this is a square means 5.4. Into it can be also written as sine inverse. Okay, this is sine inverse x upon a. x upon a means 2x minus 1 upon under root 5. This is also the answer. Plus constant c. And we written as constant C also. Plus constant C, this is the answer. Or let's write in log, log x plus under root whatever the value given. That x here is twice x minus 1 upon 2. Because that 2 will be finally removed from this. So that is the question. This is can also be done. Both are done. So this is done too. Or in log form, if we have to write then in place of sine inverse x, you can write log. The answer of this we have discussed in detail. It will be negative sign, positive sign that we have to think about. What is a square minus x square? The minus a square. What is the uh, sign hyperbolic inverse x upon a? It will be positive a square, that is 5.4. And what is a square plus x square? That is the point. Okay, so if it is x square minus a square, then it will be cos hyperbolic inverse plus a square, cos hyperbolic inverse x upon a, either or write a square. And log of uh, x plus whatever the value here. Okay, so that is the question. Either this is not or this is not. This is a square minus x square type. Sine inverse x upon a will come. But we have to assume here. What we have to assume? If I substitute this x equal to 
find the sunder root 5 from 2 into 20, then we can resolve it in the same same form. Okay, so that is the process which we have discussed in detail when we discussed in the beginning when the different kind of special cases were discussed in the case of uh, rational, rational functions in the beginning. Okay, this is question number six. Let me remove it now. This is for question number. We can write directly the formula for this formula is of this kind. What, what are the formula we have used here? Formula was here under root a square minus x square, which I have discussed that this answer is equal to 1 upon 2 is in bracket x under root a square minus x square under the square root. The same value plus for minus here a square it will be either sine inverse x upon a or equal to or equal to 1 upon x under root a square minus x square minus a square log of x plus under root a square minus x square. This is the value. Okay. Either this is the answer or that is the answer. This formula we have used in that case. I just noted it down. I didn't note down this but let me clarify that point that how did we do sixth question? This was the reason for the fifth question. We did question number six we did. Yeah, question number six I think we have done. So you just thought we did it or Third, sorry, uh, sixth one. Fifth one we have done. This was the fifth one, I think. So this minus, minus f square. This was this question. Question number eight. Was it question number eight? Okay, this was, I think, I've taken the eighth question here. Yeah, question number eight it was. About sixth question we have done. Two feet to common. Only the beginning, I think two of them. Which question I did this? I think sixth question I have taken, but I have done now eighth question. Now let me take the sixth question. For this eighth question has been done. This was the eighth question, I'm sorry. Now let me take the sixth question. Question number six here is sign of integration. I'm sorry, this was mistake when taken as 2x square plus 3x plus 4. Okay, this I take. Or if I have taken the eighth question, no, this was only the sixth question we did, but we have taken the question number eight. Now this is sixth question. Sixth question, seventh question, eighth I have done. I will not take that. Now this is the eighth, uh, sixth question of Vx. Now, out of this, we have to take two common. Uh, if I take under root two common, it will come out. It will be then x square plus 3 by 2 x plus 2 dx. Again, we have to convert this question into perfect square form. So it will be x square under this root. x square, again, plus we have to add something or subtract something. What we have to add here? 3 upon 4 whole square. We have to add here or subtract. So we will add here that will be let me write the perfect square portion x plus 3 upon 4 whole square why because this will be 3 upon 4 whole square we have to add here it will be perfect square that perfect square is this and plus 2 minus we have to subtract the same value 9 upon 4 9 upon 4 16 and for it will be 16 9 upon 16 this question is further converted as Sum of integration under root 2, that will take this as x plus 3 upon 4 whole square. What about what this? This is plus sign. Now here it is 16 to the 32. 32 minus 9 is 23. So root 23 upon 4 whole square. Now this is x square plus a square. Okay. The answer will be directly we can write here. So, since we know that, let me write here. Sign of integration, if it is a square plus x square or x square plus a square, yeah, this is x square plus a square type. Right? So, answer is nothing but 1 upon 2 x under root x square plus a square plus a square. 
other types log of sine hyperbolic inverse so sine hyperbolic inverse x upon t other this is also over 1.2 x under root x square plus a square plus a square into log of x plus under root x square plus a square these either of this can be written as the answer but here in case of a we have under root 23 upon 4 in place of x we have 4x plus c upon 4 because that is the difference only this is dx and therefore this answer is written as root 2 into 1.2 that means 1.2 here and in brackets it will be this 4x plus 3 upon 4 under root the whole value will be there and so that is the perfect square we have subtracted if taking this out it will be the whole value that is what is that square it is plus 3x plus 4 ok or we can add only this value that doesn't matter plus sign plus a square now a square is root 3, 23 upon 16 23 upon 16 into log of if we write log of it will be x plus that means 4 x plus 3 that's <coughs> 4 if you will take common under root it will be then 2x square plus 3x plus 4 plus constant c or we can write it as under root 2 upon 2 4x plus 3 upon 4 under root 2x square plus 3x plus 4 plus this is 23 upon 16 a square if you sign hyperbolic inverse 4x plus 3 upon root 23 plus constant this either this is answer or this is answer either of this can be answer for this either this answer or this answer in log if we have multiplied then log substitute the whole value x plus under root whatever the value is yet there 4x plus 4x upon 4 be to write root 5 and root 23 this was root 23 sorry root 23 left. this is root 23 constant is there so that constant is taken out the constant can be taken out out of root 23 if i write the whole value that then under root 23 will come out so under root 3 in law will be constant that constant is added in the constant because of that is not there so we write only 4x plus 3 that constant is added into the three constants that's the constant final answer is this sixth question we have done i'm sorry i took the eighth question in this row sixth now 8th is done, 6th is done, now 7th question let me stop for Now question number 7th, then we will take 9th, but 8th I have already taken. <coughs> so, now question number 8th let's talk about. Sorry, 7th. Now question number 7th. Now question number 7th is under root. This is 4 minus 3x minus 2x for the square into dx ok so this will be equal to now if I after take to common it will be under root 2 out within bracket it will be 2 only minus 3x minus 2x minus x square into dx ok so that is point here now let us discuss it further, make it perfect sphere. It will be if I take minus and common from these two, the two that will take minus and common it will be x square. Now plus 3 by 2x plus 9 by 4, we have to add in this case, and minus 9 by 4, we have to subtract. Make it now these three of y 9 by 4 for 3 upon 4. Dividing by 2, the middle term, you will get the square that we have to add in this case to make it perfect scale. It will be 9 upon 4 to be added. Subject the same same value because we have added on our own. Just to eliminate that, we have to minus subject 9 upon 4 also. 
So when we open this minus 9 upon 2, this will be written as x plus 3 upon 2 whole square. And the last value, this minus, minus plus, will be added to 2. This will be x here. For under root 2 sign of integration, this is under root 2 plus 9 upon 4. Minus sign, this is nothing but x plus 3 upon 2. 3 upon 2 whole square. And, uh, yeah, 3 upon 4, I'm sorry. By 9.4, what I'm doing? Be 9.16. It is 9.16. Why? Because 3.4 whole square. 3.4 means 9.16, 9.16. I'm sorry. This is 16. But this is 3 upon 4 whole square, not 3 upon 2. But 2 we have to divide by 2. Middle term is 2 divided by 2, that means 3 upon 4 whole square. 3 upon 4 whole square. The control whole scale is 9.60. This is the x. So finally, we obtain under root 2, I'm sorry, kind of integration. So what is the addition of this? Now 16 to the 32. 32 plus 9, 41. Under root 41 upon 4. Whole scale minus sign. This is 4s plus 3 upon 4 whole scale. Yes. Now this is again a perfect square. So a square minus s square type. Okay, so this will be answer will be under root two upon two. This is in bracket. Now if I write this four x plus three, four x plus three, yeah, upon four, four will be throughout cancel out root two. In that year four. Then under root this whole value will be the same thing, 4 minus 3x minus 2x square. <coughs> okay, it is a square minus this, so it will be negative sign a square. Okay, so it is minus sign a square means this value 41 upon 16. Yeah, 41 upon 16 is will be. Yeah, it was 41 upon 16. A square into sine inverse other type sine inverse the sine inverse x upon a means 4 x plus 3 upon under root 41 upon under root 41 this this will be under root 41 whole square yeah it is under root 41 upon 4 4 cancel out because both plus constant is 3 okay that constant is 4 can be taken out so 4 will be out here okay this comes or we can write log in the form of log 441.16 log of this value x, x means 4x plus 3 plus under root this value 4 minus 3x minus 2x square. That can be the answer. Or let me write here. Or root 2 upon 2, this is 4x plus 3 on 4 sign of integration. 4 minus 3x minus 2x square. Minus sign, this is 41 upon 60, log of 4x plus 3 plus sign under root, that whole value 4 minus 3x minus 2x square. Okay, this is plus constant C. Whole long term. So this is answer here. Okay, now let us either this answer or that answer, both of them can be answer. These were the answers here. Question number 7, we have done. Now, here is to be already done. Let me talk about the ninth question. Question number 9, what does it say? Let me take question number 9 now. This is question number 9. What is the ninth question? The ninth question is this. X upon this. Okay, now let me take question number 9, which is different one. Here is how what we have done. But in instead of six, we were we were doing. I took the uh, value of eighth question. So eighth question is already calculated. Now let me talk about ninth question. So ninth question is sign of integration x upon under root. This is x square plus x plus one. This will be x. Yes. What we do whenever numerator is there, we just write that numerator equal to x equal to a into differentiation of this, dds of, let me write, 
dds of x square plus x plus 1 plus b constant. So if I just write differentiation this is twice x plus 1 only plus b is equal to x. If I compare coefficient of x, what is a here? a equal to 1 upon 2. And b will be equal to how much? Negative value only minus a. Why? Because the constant here is 0. So q is 0 in this case, only minus a will be there. You can equate the coefficient of constant in the left hand side will be 0. Here it will be minus plus a plus b equal to 0 or b equal to minus a that will be minus 1. b is minus 1. What we have written here? Let me write value of this. So a value is a into this we have write here. a is 1.2 2x plus 1 upon under root x square plus x plus 1 into dx minus 1.2 this is value of b sorry value of b is here 1.2 sign of integration 1 upon now this is 1 upon under root x square now we have to make it perfect square in the same way plus 1 this is that we will do. Now what about this? This is if I consider this x square plus x plus one equal to t in the first part. Let me take i1, this is i2. Here i1, let me write here. If we solve i1 and i2 separately, then add them, that will give us the answer. So here i1 is equal to sign of integration. 2x plus 1 upon 100. This is x square plus x plus 1 dx. Now let or substitute x square plus x plus 1 equal to t for twice x plus 1 into dx equal to dt. Substituting it with that value in the numerator. This is dt upon 100 root t. Okay, that means sum of the t is for minus half dt. In dx means t raised power minus half plus one upon minus half plus one. That means t raised power positive half upon positive half means two. Two t only because in the denominator we will have one upon two half power two will come in the numerator. This is two under root t. That means two into what is t value? T is x square plus x plus one. This is 